Cellar spiders, commonly referred to as daddy long leg spiders, are known to infest dark, secluded areas like basements or sheds. Cellar spiders hunt insects and even other spiders and pose no threat to humans. But in some parts of the US, these spiders are as common as the housefly, and if left alone, only a few spiders can become an unwanted infestation fast. So in this video, we'll show you how to identify and treat cellar spiders on your property so you can keep a clean home insect and spider free. To shop for the products featured in this video and learn even more about cellar spiders, click the icon in the top right of the screen or click the link in the description below. The first thing you should do in any pest control plan is identify what exactly you're dealing with. Careless identification can lead to wrong treatment methods, costing you time and money. You can tell you're probably dealing with a cellar spider at first glance. These spiders have very long and thin legs relative to other spider species, which has led to their nickname, Daddy Long Legs. While many use this name to refer to the cellar spider, it's important to distinguish this pest from a true Daddy Long Legs. A true Daddy Long Legs is also an arachnid and known by its other name, the Harvestman. The Harvestman looks similar to a cellar spider in which both are arachnids with extremely long and thin legs relative to their bodies. However, a Harvestman has only one body segment, two eyes, and is incapable of spinning webs. In fact, harvestmen are not even classified as spiders at all. It's important to distinguish between cellar spiders and true daddy long legs, as they are two different pests that may require different approaches to treatment. In contrast to their legs, cellar spiders have small bodies, with the female long-bodied cellar spider growing up to 8 millimeters in length, not including its legs. Cellar spiders can also have body colors that include yellow, brown, and gray. They have eight eyes, and their bodies consist of two segments, the cephalothorax and abdomen. And like other spiders, they spin and nest in webs. Inspection is the next phase of any good pest control plan. Once you know what your pests look like, check around your property to confirm their presence or find hot spots of activity. Cellar spiders are commonly found in dark, moist areas that are seldom frequented. You'll want to inspect areas like the garage, basement, attic, and even storage sheds. Look for any evidence of cellar spider activity like their webs, egg sacs, or the cellar spiders themselves. You can often spot them in corners of ceilings or behind clutter. A way to spot them easily is to keep an eye out for their webs. Cellar spiders' webs look very similar to cobwebs. Unlike other spiders, cellar spiders build upon their webbing, leading to a messy, layered cobweb-like web. Additionally, look for any entry points spiders or insects can use to gain access to the structure. Note things like broken door and window seals, garage door openings, and any crack or crevices where cellar spiders or insects can hide in. You'll use this information to direct your treatment. After identifying your pests and inspecting for activity on your property, it's time to start treatment. Before starting any treatment, be sure to wear your personal protective equipment or PPE, and remember to keep all people and pets off the treated areas until dry. Treatment for cellar spiders starts with cleaning. First, do a thorough cleanup of your home and declutter spaces where cellar spiders tend to be. Cellar spiders like to build webs in less frequented parts of the house, like the attic or basement. Don't forget to clear away any clutter in closets or even the shed. Next, use a sealant like caulk or copper mesh to close any cracks and crevices you may have found during your inspection. You'll do this inside and outside this structure to deny cellar spiders and other small pests entry to your structure. Once you've blocked off entry points, knock down all webs with a cobweb duster. The cobweb duster has small nylon bristles that are perfect at removing webs and eggs. Simply sweep and wipe away any webbing you see. If the target is too far, attach an extension pole so you can reach higher, further places. Once you've finished cleaning, you can start to think about removing the spider's potential food source, other bugs. You can use an insecticide that's labeled to treat a wide variety of insects like Reclaim IT. Reclaim IT is a liquid insecticide concentrate that's labeled to control crickets, beetles, crane flies, fungus gnats, mosquitoes, and many other insects that spiders feed on. Reclaim IT will also control spiders with contact and its residual activity will prevent spiders from re-establishing nests. Reclaim IT is an insecticide concentrate, so it'll need to be mixed with water before application. To treat most pests, we recommend you apply Reclaim IT at a rate of one fluid ounce per 1,000 square feet of treatment area. You'll mix this in one gallon of water. We also recommend you use a hand pump sprayer due to its ease of use for indoor and outdoor applications. To use a hand pump sprayer, open the sprayer, add half a gallon of water, and add your measured amount of Reclaim IT. Add the remaining half gallon, close the sprayer, and shake to ensure an even distribution. Pump your sprayer a few times to produce a low pressure spray. Indoors, treat your baseboards, around windows and doorways, or any other crack or crevice where you think pests may be entering or hiding. You can also make spot treatments in the corners of storage areas where cellar spiders will normally build their nests. Then spray a barrier treatment around the exterior entry points of your home or structure. Be sure to spray around doors, around the garage door, around windows, voids in the wall, and utility penetrations, including light fixtures. 
Remember, all of this is to control the insect population on your property and deter cellar spiders from re-establishing themselves so they'll search for food elsewhere. Prevention is essential to keeping pests in check. Even after you have applied pesticides, the best way to stop pest activity is to make sure it can't happen again. To discourage cellar spiders from invading your home, be sure to keep up with regular pest control and reapply Reclaim IT every 90 days to ensure protection throughout the year. Since spiders and their food are attracted to moist areas, you can address any moisture issues within your home or structure, such as fixing leaky pipes or repairing faulty air conditioning. Reducing the moisture in your structure will discourage most pests from invading. You can also set out glue traps next to common entry points like doors, windows, and the garage door to monitor for further activity. Check these traps regularly, and if you spot any insects, you'll know to address any openings that may have appeared after treatment. A cellar spider or daddy long leg infestation can be a nuisance for many homeowners, but there are ways to control an infestation that's gone out of hand. With these professional products and tips from Solutions Pest and Lawn, you can stop cellar spiders from infesting your home, and we offer same-day shipping to help you get control quickly. Visit our website to get your products today. If you like this how-to guide, please share. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe for more how-to and product videos, and contact us for more tips, tricks, and DIY pest solutions.